Hello everybody, welcome to Totally Tabled. My name is Shaggy, and today I'm doing a full solo playthrough of Canvas. In Canvas, we are painters competing in a prestigious art festival, and we're gonna be judged based on different criteria. In this game, it's variety, repetition, emphasis, and composition. Now this is a card drafting game. We're gonna be getting these really awesome transparent cards and putting them together to form these paintings. Immediately, I really like this liberated card right here. In order to get this card, I have to skip over this peaceful card. And to do that, I place one of my inspiration tokens on it. And then I can grab this. I start with four inspiration tokens. Everything slides down. Now in a solo game, you're playing against Vincent. And Vincent doesn't really care about scoring points. Uh, he just cares about taking cards away from you. And the way he does that is you take his four inspiration tokens, you shuffle them, and you toss them. For every one of his inspiration tokens that uh, lands face up, he skips cards. And then grabs that one and takes it out of the game. We're not competing against Vincent, we're just trying to compete against ourselves to get a high score. So I can't form a painting until I have three of these cards at least, and the maximum number of cards I can have in my hand is five. So right now we're just looking for more cards. I took this liberated card because I really like the fact that it had one of these hue symbols, because in order to get a ribbon for emphasis, you need exactly one of those hue symbols. We also have two of these texture symbols. Now what we really want is maybe to try to go after some variety as well. None of these cards have any of the shape symbols on them, which is a shame since we're kind of looking for repetition. By the way, you can always flip on the back to get a very detailed clarification of exactly how the goal works, which is great. Peaceful is not, is not great for us because of all of those hue symbols on them. I do kind of like warning because it has two colors that I don't have on this card, and that would be great for composition. Now this banner here means you'll get a gray ribbon for every hue symbol in the painting that you produce. Gray ribbons are worth two points each at the end of the game. So this warning is not so bad, so I'm going to go for that. I'm gonna put one of my inspiration tokens there, and then I get the inspiration token that was on warning. Vincent. Ooh, okay. Well, look at that. He's skipping that and he's grabbing Surrender. It might be worth grabbing that peaceful card just to get all of those inspiration tokens. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to take this. I can take it for free because I'm not skipping over anything. And I just get all of those inspiration tokens. That will just help me be able to get exactly the card that I need in the future. And Vincent's going to... Oh, <laughs> look at that. Okay. Well, now Vincent is out of inspiration tokens, so he's just going to be grabbing that first card. That's helpful for us because we know exactly what he's going to do. Now, I do have three cards, so I could technically make a painting if I wanted to. The way you make a painting is just by layering these three cards however you like. You can see that some of the things will get covered up, some will remain exposed, and you can rearrange and organize it however you want. Now, if I were to make this painting, for example, I would actually be able to get a composition ribbon because I have all five colors. I don't have all four um, for the variety because I'm missing the shape symbol. Wouldn't get repetition. And I also wouldn't get emphasis because I have two of the hue symbols, but I would get two gray tokens because of those two symbols. That is not super exciting for me. What I'd like to do is get a different yellow to add to this combo right here. And I see this game card right there. It has a yellow and it has that shape symbol, which I need, which would actually complete my variety, would give us composition, 
we'd have exactly one. That seems really good. The only one we'd be missing out on is repetition. So I'm actually going to spend two inspiration. One thing we could think about is we know that Vincent's just going to be taking the first card. So he's not going to get that game. I could save that. Is there something else here that I also like? I don't think so. Although childhood is pretty good. Okay, I tell you what, I'm gonna take childhood. So Vincent takes mistake because he has no inspiration tokens. He's out of inspiration. He just has to just do the first thing that comes to his mind. And now I can take game. And that's my fifth card. So that means next time I am going to have to make a painting. Vincent goes, he, again, he just has to take the first card. I'm hogging all the inspiration here. And now I'm going to make a painting. And we definitely want to use the game with Liberated and Warning. We have some choices here. So if we were to create Liberated Game, we would get two gray ribbons because we have two texture icons showing. We would also have everything for our composition ribbon. We have our variety ribbon and we have emphasis. Now let's just see what would happen if we did, for example, liberated warning. Now we'd only be getting one gray ribbon because we only have one of those color hues. We get everything else would be the same. So that's definitely inferior. So I think we want to do liberated game. So what you do is you grab one of your blank canvases and you stick your stack of cards in there and you create beautiful painting. <laughs> that looks quite good. That looks really, really nice, actually. Okay, let's score up my first painting. First is variety, and we do. We have all four icons, so we get a red ribbon. We did not get repetition. We only have one of the shape symbols, but we did get emphasis. So that's going to be a blue ribbon. And we have all five colors. That's a purple ribbon. And right here on the card, it says get a gray ribbon per texture icon. We have one, two texture icons. So that is two gray ribbons. The game will end when we have made three paintings. So we are one third of the way there. And we still have these two cards left over. Now Vincent gets to take his turn. He's still just taking the first card. Wow. Well, if we have this risky with childhood, that's again, that's that would be two gray ribbons. Ooh, I kind of like innocent. We're not going to get both of these. That's the problem. We have to choose. Do we want risky or do we want innocent? Oh boy. I think I'm going to take risky. Yeah, I'm going to take risky. And we'll let Vincent have Innocent. If we put these three together that we have, we're missing a blue. Here's a blue right here with Obstacle. We're missing a hue symbol though. There's one coming way down here with a red. And that would go well with this Obstacle. I think I am going to take Obstacle. And actually, this isn't too shabby. That's that that version of Risky Childhood. Yeah, that might work. Well, uh, let's slide down and let Vincent. He's got to take the first one again. He's being very uninspired. So this is the question. Do we want to do Risky Childhood? That would be three gray ribbons from that, but basically nothing else. <laughs> Wouldn't have variety, repetition, or emphasis don't think that's exactly what we want to do just to get some more gray ribbons. I think what we'd rather do is get this illuminated. So we're going to spend an inspiration and grab it. And look at this. Vincent finally gets some inspiration. Now we have to figure out how we want to put these together. I like illuminated and obstacle together. If we could get a green in there with the triangle symbol, and that's exactly what Risky has. Boom. That gives us, again, everything except for repetition. Illuminated obstacle. Yeah, we definitely want illuminated on top. Does it matter? Okay, so there we go. We've made another painting. 
illuminated obstacle. Let's score it up. Do we have variety? Yes, indeed we do. No repetition. We do have emphasis. That's a blue. And we have all five colors. That's the purple. No gray, but that was pretty good. That was pretty darn good. Only one more painting to go. Oh, okay. So he's going to hold on to his inspiration. Just take that first card. We have Peaceful and Childhood. That's very pretty. Oh, look, Beauty. Beauty has exactly what we need. A blue and a triangle. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to start off by taking Beauty. Okay, let's see what Vincent's doing. Oh, okay, he's putting it right there and he's taking Divine. Hmm. I was kind of hoping to maybe take that. So we could we could end the game right now and we could build something like this. The problem is I really want that emphasis. I'm not sure peaceful is really helping us out. I kind of like that, in which case heavy is perfect. That is exactly what we need. We're going to put our inspiration out. We're gonna do heavy. And I think we're just going to make that painting because that is going to be fantastic. Vincent's just going to take that card. He's finally getting some inspiration in his life. But I think I think this is game over because we're just going to throw down heavy beauty. Very nice. Let's see how it scores up. Do we have one of each symbol? Yes, we do. So we have the variety. And this time we actually have repetition. Two shape symbols, we get a green, our first green ribbon. Exactly one hue, boom. And all five colors, composition. No gray for that one, but that's it guys. That is our three paintings. That is the end of the game. We have three red ribbons, which is gonna give us 13 points. We only got one green ribbon, so that's going to be three. So that's 16. We have three blue ribbons. So that's the full 11 points. So that's 27 points. We have all three of the compositions. So that's going to be 36 points. And then each gray ribbon is worth two points, which puts us to an even 40 points. And we can look at the rule book at the very bottom, it says 40 plus best in show. We absolutely nailed it. Well, there you go, guys. That is a full solo playthrough of Canvas. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to the channel. We'll see you next time.